Well, today's Mass coincides with the great feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. I'm sure all of you have heard something about Our Lady of, Our, of Mount Carmel, also known as Our Lady of the Brown Scapular. And it's a very old devotion and it has had and continues to have a huge and very, very positive effect on the lives of many uh, Catholics down through the centuries. On the 16th of July, uh, 1251, in London, Our Lady appeared to St. Simon Stock, and uh, <clears throat> she, she appeared holding the scapular, the brown scapular. And in that, Our Lady, uh, you know, said to St. Simon, um, received the, uh, the this holy uh, scapular of our lady uh, which is to be used as a for, for a protection of your soul <clears throat> and also it is to help you to protect you in times of danger and those who die with this scapular will not die in eternal fire so it's a, a very, very powerful promise. Of course, the Carmelites and many, many different uh, religious orders wear the scapular um, on the in their on their habit uh, out, outside. There are other communities that wear the uh, the scapular just around the neck. The scapular, the scapular, the the Latin meaning of the word scapular means shoulders, and. <clears throat> um, I'll just go to ask Brother Greg, you just hand me over the scapular there. It's one we have one in the basket, just to show you. Um, it's, uh, it's not a, a good luck charm. It is something, you know, much more. It's a, it's a sacramental. So we can see here that it's just basically, you know, two pieces of cloth. I'll have to open it up here. Um, and it just goes around the neck, one part on the front, the other on the back. And it is above all like, you know, a powerful assistance uh, of Our Lady in Heaven over yeah, one soul. And over the centuries, devotion to wearing the scapular uh, grew immensely precisely because of the uh, many graces, blessings, healings, and miracles that people uh, received. So there are many documented extraordinary miracles uh, with the, uh, the scapular. In the year 1957 in Germany, uh, a priest gave an account of how there was, <clears throat> in a particular village, there was uh, like a, a, a fire broke out. It was a residential estate they were all, we say, houses attached together, and they were all wooden houses. So that meant that, like, you know, the, the fire, like, um, just started, like, burning, you know, going through all the houses. There was one uh, house in that uh, whole estate where there was a Catholic family, a pious family, and they had a great devotion to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. They took the scapular, they tied it on the entrance of the door, and when the fire began to advance, that was the only house on all of that like a stage that was not burned. Now it should have burned because it was joined to the rest. Um, there was five, five hours. There were 22 homes reduced to rubble, or reduced, sorry, to ashes. But, and basically the others were, the, so that was the only uh, house that was actually miraculously preserved. And of course, that's an obvious miracle there of Our Lady's intervention. And so from there, there were many people that came to look and see and visit that house, uh, the home that Our Lady had saved through the scapular. Uh, the scapular is a, a, um, a sacramental, just like the miraculous medal. Uh, to wear it means that we enjoy special personal privileges from our Blessed Mother. 
protection from temptations, to conquer vices, um, anxieties, and it gives us strength in the middle of trials and sufferings of life. Because very often we can become overburdened, overburdened by so many difficulties, problems that, uh, that can occur in our daily lives. And it's important for us to realize that God is with us, and especially our Blessed Mother Mary. The scapular, as I said, is this like personal and unique link to uh, the Blessed Mother. As she desires to protect us, bless us, and uh, you know, in a special way, heal us also through the, best, uh, through the brown scapular. Just like we say also, the scapular is a sacramental. Also, there is, we have also the miraculous medal. There are other types of scapulars as well. Uh, the green scapular, there's a red scapular. All of these have special privileges and graces for our souls. So to experience um, her closeness through the scapular, it means that we experience a new lease of life because people can be overburdened not only with difficulties of life, but also by guilt, by a sense of, 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 of loss. There can be so many difficulties there. And so this healing process of Our Lady can come in if we wear it with faith, because uh, it, that is so important. Very important to distinguish here is not like just some like good luck charm, it's something much more. It is, um, you know, it's not just like on the same way as like, you know, we say something super superstitious. It is, you know, the promise that Our Lady gave St. Simon Stock um, all those years ago. And uh, there, as I said, like, you know, there are many, many documented miracles and healings of people who have like, uh, you know, experienced Our Lady's help. So when we talk about Our Lady's personal intervention, we're also talking about, you know, our God is a personal God. He knows us in a very personal way, and he desires to speak to our hearts, to lead us on the path of his friendship, and in this way to secure our salvation uh, of our souls in heaven. So to experience this love and this like protection of Our Lady, um, in a personal way, it is a very great privilege. In order to receive this uh, scapular, uh, one has to be enrolled in it. So we're going to be doing that just right after Mass. So uh, those of you who wish to be enrolled in the scapular can receive it and be enrolled in it. And I'll explain more that, about that at the end of the Mass. The one, one must merit at all times. For someone who is dying and maybe away from the church, to place a scapular around the neck of that person would mean the salvation of that soul. Like in my own personal experience, I have on a number of numerous occasions been called to assist at the, um, the, uh, the bedside of a dying person. And that's my, like, you know, people of all ages. You can have young people, you know, children, even, you know, young adults, and also mostly of the elderly people. But sometimes you can, you know, get an insight into how that person is. Or, you know, if they're unconscious, you know, you can maybe, you just hear a bit about their life. But I've always, um, placed the, the blessed scapular around their neck. Uh, those who are conscious, those who want to confess, people who have been very, very far away from God. And for me, that has been a great proof of God's mercy and his love for all sinners. God desires the salvation, not only of the just, but all those who have, like, for years uh, wandered astray from his love. And so, this is uh, the Our Lady has promised, you know, she, to Simon Sack that uh, those who die wearing the brown scapular will be preserved from eternal fire. That means hell. 
Today, as we mentioned at the beginning of Mass, we have like, the great joy in our community that in Spain we have uh, three new uh, members, three new brothers who are going to enter the novitiate. One is Swiss, the other one is from Guatemala, and the other one is Italian. And then apart from that, in the sisters, there are like over about 15, I think, um, new sisters who are going to enter the novitiate. This is a great uh, celebration for us because it means that uh, these young people are, you know, surrendering their lives completely to God uh, at the service of the Church, Our Lady and Our Lord Jesus Christ. So in a special way in this Mass, we remember them. So let us ask the Lord to help us. And especially today, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, that she may bless us and protect us to walk on the path of her beloved Son, Jesus. Amen.